Hey guys, in this video we'll be reviewing the TZ Audio Products Stellar X2 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. This is an XLR microphone for recording that can be used on a variety of different instruments like voice, acoustic guitars, or electric guitars. We'll be demonstrating the audio quality we get from all these instruments with this microphone. As a disclosure before we get started, I'd like to mention that this microphone was provided as a review sample for this video. You can also find links to purchase one for yourself in the video description down below if you're interested in getting one of these microphones. Let's get started with the unboxing of this microphone. We have a fairly nice looking outer box here and if we open that up we'll find the microphone is housed inside its own case. On the outside of that case, we have some information about the microphone describing it as a studio quality microphone with transparent sound. This has a pretty solid aluminum case here to protect the microphone while it's in storage or transport with a lot of dense foam on the inside, so this is a nice touch compared to those fabric sleeves that most microphones include. Opening it up, we'll see the documentation and quality control sheet. The Stellar X2 is based on the Neumann U87 and U67, which are classic microphones that can cost thousands of dollars. On the other hand, this microphone currently sells on Amazon for about $200 in the United States and $400 in Canada, but keep in mind that these prices could change with time. The bottom line is it's priced at a mid-range level for microphones and not the $50 to $100 entry level range for a lot of common home recording microphones, but it's designed to compete with microphones of a lot higher price, and we'll see how it holds up later on in this video. As for the specifications of this microphone, it's got a full frequency response of 20Hz to 18kHz, built with their gold sputtered 34mm K67 style capsule, and a sensitivity of minus 31 decibels and self noise of 13 decibels. In the case, we get a fabric case for the microphone, but I probably won't use that much and I'll keep it in the hard case most of the time. The main things we get here are the microphone itself, a shock mount to prevent vibration transmission to the microphone and isolate it from the microphone stand, and a windscreen that you can use instead of a pop filter to prevent it from picking up air blasts. The shock mount is one of the cheaper elastic band style shock mounts and I'm not sure how well it will hold up with time, but at least these things are very easy to replace and if it breaks you can get a new generic one for about $20. Regardless of the quality of the shock mount, it does significantly cut down on handling noise compared to a rigid mount if we're handling the microphone stand. The windscreen on the other hand, as you might have heard so far from this video, does allow a lot of plosives to get through, so I definitely would recommend using this microphone with an additional pop filter or just not using the windscreen and using a pop filter on its own. Altogether though, we do have a full setup here and I'm quite happy with it since a lot of microphones won't include these extras. To get this all set up, we just connect the shock mount to the stand, squeeze the shock mount to allow it to open and clamp the microphone, then connect the XLR cable to the microphone and the audio interface. When you're connecting the shock mount, you'll notice an adapter inside that you can unscrew to remove. This just lets it attach to different stand mounts, but you won't need to use it for a regular microphone stand. On the audio interface, turn on phantom power since this is a condenser microphone and it needs it to work, and then set the level. I've found this microphone to have a pretty high output without very much noise at all, so it doesn't really need that high of a preamp level to get it going. So far, all the audio you've been hearing in this video has been made using only the Stellar X2 microphone connected to my Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 audio interface with the included phantom power and preamp for that interface. I'm running it directly into my digital audio workstation with no additional processing, so I haven't added any compression, equalization, or noise reduction like I do in a lot of other videos, since I think it's best to just let the natural sound of the microphone play through, and this microphone doesn't really need that much help with it. The one thing I have noticed so far is there is quite a bit of popping when I'm this close to the microphone since I'm not using a pop filter, but I am using the included windscreen. I don't find the included windscreen with this microphone to be that effective and you really will need to use a pop filter separately. For most of my other videos on this channel, I've used the MXL 990 large diaphragm condenser microphone which I found to be a lot harsher and lacking in the low end compared to the Stellar X2 which has a lot more balanced and smoother sound. 
so it's pretty likely that this becomes my main microphone for the future. I also find it to be better sounding than my Audio-Technica AT2020, but I haven't been able to compare a lot of higher-end microphones since I don't have those. There are some of those videos available online if you're interested in hearing a more direct comparison though. Now let's move on to the instruments. First is the acoustic guitar. Here's a few samples with some strumming, picking, and finger picking on my Siegel acoustic guitar. I've set up the microphone a bit over a foot away, pointing directly at the 12th fret of the guitar. So far from what I can hear, I'm comparing this to some of the other microphones I use, like the MXL990 and AT2020, this is a pretty natural sounding microphone and it didn't take much to make my acoustic guitar on the recording sound exactly like it does to me in the room. Of course, you'll need to play with the position of the microphone to change how it responds to different frequencies, like if you get it too close and you'll have a lot of low end sound because it's a cardioid microphone and you'll get the proximity effect, but it's overall really good and lives up to that transparent sound that they mentioned. Next we'll record the electric guitar using a Gibson Les Paul Studio through a Marshall Class 5 amp with and without the Boss DS1 distortion pedal in between. Usually I use a Shure SM57 as my guitar microphone of choice, and I'm not always a fan of large diaphragm condenser microphones like this as the sole microphone, but I think it would work well in combination. Alone, this amp is quite finicky to record, but the microphone still does handle it pretty well, and I got a great sound out of it regardless, it's just these electric guitar amps typically require quite a lot of time and trial and error to get it really sounding like you want. So for my overall conclusion, this microphone handles voice and acoustic guitars quite nicely. It's not horrible on the electric guitar, but I'd rather use it in combination with other microphones than as a sole microphone. It definitely has a transparent sound to it, and I find it very easy to get my acoustic guitar sounding exactly like it does in the room without much adjustments. This just makes the overall mixing process a lot easier. For voice, it is quite good and clean sounding, especially if you're in closer, but as you start to get farther away at about maybe eight inches to a foot away, it does get a little bit thinner sounding. So I like to use this microphone at probably about four inches away. As we've talked about, there's quite a bit of plosives and that might have been annoying throughout this video, but I've deliberately left them in so you can hear exactly what this sounds like with the windscreen. And I haven't interfered with that by using a pop filter that wasn't included with the microphone itself. Thanks for checking out this video on the Stellar X2 large diaphragm condenser microphone. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also check the video description for links to the Stellar X2 microphone and our social media accounts.